Hey everyone, in this FIFA 23 how to change player position video, I'm gonna show you how to do that in Ultimate Team. So um, this has changed over FIFA 22 and I wanna show you how this now works. So if we look at Henderson as an example in my Ultimate Team, if I have a little look at the player details by pressing the right stick button, look at player details and now over FIFA 22, you've got this, it says preferred position, CM, so center midfielder, alternative positions, CDM. Now you can't just move him straight to that position you need to apply a positioning modifier and these work slightly differently to how they did before. So if I head back and come out of here, uh, what I then need to do is go to actions. Down the bottom you should see the option for you. For me that's X on the Xbox, it may be square on the PlayStation, it may be a different one on the PC. Come into this area and pick apply consumable. And if we look on the right hand side, so I'm right buttoning over here, that would be R1 on the PlayStation. I want to go to positioning and you can see I've got position modifier uh, and I could do this here and that would turn him from a center midfielder to a center defensive midfielder. I'm going to do that for you just to show you. So it says um, Henderson can play in the following alternative position CDM. Would you like to use a position modifier? Select a new position below CDM. Yes. So he is now a center defensive midfielder. Now you can see on the left hand side that has dropped my chemistry to zero because I'm now playing him out of position. So it's important that you pick the right position for your player. So you can see here, there's now a yellow underneath him. He's in the wrong position. So for me to make a, uh, take advantage of this, I would need to go to my formation and look for a formation with a CDM in it. So um, if we, <laughs> there we go, there's a CDM one there. So if we just say that one, for example, uh, don't show this message again. Now everybody's out of position except Henderson. He's in the right position there. So you can see I've got his chemistry back um, because he's now in that position there. So if we now look at him again, so we press right stick, you can see preferred position CDM, alternative position CM. So again, if I want to change him back, I can't believe I'm going to do this. I've just wasted two cards showing you. Um, but we'll go back and we'll switch him back to what he was before. So we'll apply a consumable and we'll say, do you know what? We made a mistake. We want to go position in, position him back. CM and away you go. Now compared to FIFA 22, oh, what a mess, hang on, let me just sort this out. Uh, what was my, was it that one? I think it was that one, wasn't it? So if we compare this to FIFA 22, you used to have the ability to move a center mid to a center attacking midfielder or a center defensive midfielder. Um, you haven't got that versatility anymore. Some players, if you look at them, so if we look at Matip here, will only have their preferred position. They don't have an alternative position. So if we go into attempting to change him to a, a different area, you will see that there is no such positioning tab here because we can't change him. So you do need to look at that as to which players are flexible and which players are not. So if we have a little look at, I don't know, let's have a little look at Ziyech. Um, this one, he's got some interesting things that you couldn't do in FIFA 22, which is he can play central or on the right. So center attacking midfielder, you can move him to right midfielder or right wing. So one or the other, but it's oh, he's only ever gonna rotate between these three. So that's slightly more flexible than it was in FIFA 22. Um, so in terms of finding these position modifiers, I think you only need the one card. You're gonna find those in certain packs as you open them. And I think, because I can sell them on the transfer market, if you back out here, you go to transfers and go to transfer market, you may find them from time to time in the consumable types. So we, what we want to go for here uh, is position modifier. Okay, I'll just reset this entirely and we'll do a search. And there we have some positioning modifiers. So you can see they're all now the same thing. You don't have to look for a specific modifier. That is uh, quite nice, I think, because if you know nothing can be in demand. But to get the best price on one of these, what you want to do is go back and then go to your max buy now and try a low price. Let's try 600, nothing. So I'll up that a little bit more, 900, or sorry, not 1800, nine, yeah, 900, nothing. So you can see they're quite expensive, 1100, there you go. So, well, there was one there for 900, so I'll buy that one uh, just to show you that we can buy that. <laughs> I would have bought it if um, somebody else, that one's 1100, uh, oh, 800, that one I do. Ah, I'm too slow. See, if you're slow, you will lose out, my friends. Uh, that was the cheapest. Let's do another search, just see whether we got any now. Nope, a thousand is the cheapest, but you can see the start price sometimes is a bit cheaper, but if we just keep going, hopefully we'll find one. 900. Ah, too slow. You get the idea anyway, you could go with a thousand one.
That is it, my friends. That's how you change position in FIFA 23. I hope that was useful to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If you're stuck on anything in FIFA 23, hit me up with a comment. I'll do my best to help. If it's a wicked idea and I haven't already done it, I will give you a little name check as a thank you for the idea for the video. So do let me know if you've got a good idea for a video. If you like this sort of stuff, have a little look at the rest of my channel. I've got loads of tutorials on FIFA 23 and FIFA 22 and FIFA 21 and many other games like Elden Ring that you'll find on my channel as well. Always producing new content. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. You'll be kept up to date with my latest and greatest. Thanks so much for watching.